Hi, my name is Lara AJK and I want to briefly talk about Omaka, my hometown. Yep, 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 you know. <laughs> okay, without wasting much time, Umaka is a beautiful place located within the confines of Njaba boundaries in the geographical region of Olu Imo State. Umaka is made up of 10 villages. These people are loving, caring, accommodating. I came back last Xmas to discover a deadly disease that has eaten deep into the skin of these people and they are paying little or no attention to this horrible situation. I look back to the incident that took place somewhere in Alu 2012 where four boys were murdered and as a matter of fact one of those boys were in my room the night preceding the day of that incident and in a twinkle of an eye Alu was known for horrible things. People who never knew Alu existed began to, you know, breed this horrible imagination of Alu. And it breaks my heart because if care is not taken, this is exactly what is going to happen in Omaka. Yes, it's quite disturbing that the likes of Emmanuel Emenike cannot come back home without a convoy, not for fashion, not for show, but for security purposes. Our brothers and sisters who have traveled abroad cannot comfortably come back home and go to their father's house, their father's land to celebrate the festive season with their family and friends for the fear of insecurity. They have to lodge somewhere in Norway and when it's like what, six, seven, they start running back to wherever it is they came from for whatever ceremony they found themselves in. It is horrible. It is not something that should be heard, you know, because Omaka is growing. Omaka is establishing. Omaka is expanding. And we look forward to, to um, a time where foreigners, where people would come in, look at a place and want to stay and invest. And, there, and so I stumbled upon something where um, Njaba is fighting for a state. And I ask myself, if Njaba is fighting for a state, it means those people under Njaba should feel safe. Yes, their lives and properties should be safe. It means they are telling the government that yes, we can take care of ourselves. We are capable of taking care of ourselves now. We can handle our lives and properties. We have so many of them representing us. They should help us look into the situation. Because whether you like it or not, it will get to a stage, to a, a point where the people will no longer be able to bear, the residents of Fumaka will no longer be able to bear this, this horrible disease. And they will start taking laws into their own hands. And if that happens, if that happens, jungle justice comes to play. And when jungle justice comes to play, the innocent will surely pay for it. Yes. Let's not allow um, some people destroy the beautiful name, the legacy that Umaka has created from the very onset. We should do something about the situation before it gets out of hand. Because... If we no longer feel safe in our father's land, I mean, the, 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 the evil proverb says, if someone is chasing you from outside, you should run back home. So if we get home and we can no longer feel safe in our own house, in our, or with, our, with our own families and friends, as you know, where are we going to run to? So please. Someone should do something about the situation. I really don't know how they are going to do it, but I know we have people who are representing us out there. So we need people to put heads together and stop this before it ruins our future, before it ruins the legacy that has been created from the very onset by our forefathers. So we are urging. I am urging. I know I am not feeling this pain alone. A lot of people are feeling this pain. If you are in tune with what I'm saying, please don't forget to share this video and move it forward. Maybe someone is capable of ending this particular horrible disease that's eating deep into the skin of these people. God bless you as you forward it, share, and don't forget to comment. Thank you so much.